let's get started, shall we? Hey guys, what is up? And over this sort of short Thanksgiving break, we are going to turn to this strife into a tactical strife. Now, I am not really all about the tactical builds. I'm not a huge fan of body kits or things of that nature. But I'm going to be doing a quick little entry into uh, Tactical Foam's uh, blaster competition uh, before Christmas. And I just thought this would be a sort of good idea, you know, for sort of a speed build uh, over this break, as well as, uh, you know, potentially making a future uh, loner blaster just to give out to other people, as I don't see myself using it a lot, but we will maybe see how I feel about it when we get done. But let's get started by cracking open the blaster. Now I apologize because this is kind of hard to see on camera due to it being, you know, orange on an orange background. However, uh, basically at this stage we're going to remove all these screws on the inside and just completely rip out all the circuitry as we are going to be replacing it all with our own. Okay, so now that we've stripped literally everything out of the shell, we are ready to pretty much get started with this build. Uh, basically it's going to be, like I said, sort of a tactical uh, themed strife. Uh, basic plan right now is to do all the bodywork and paint. Uh, while I'm at home, and then I have a few uh, items that I'd like to 3D print when I get back up to school and have access to my printer again. Uh, just a few small things, sort of uh, make it a little uh, more tactical, like I said, uh, it's for a build contest. So basically, uh, the next step here for me is to start grinding down on the side scales, and then removing all the logos and doing my sanding body works so that way I can get started with a fresh coat of paint in the morning. Okay, so now you guys can pretty much see most of the body works done. I still have a little bit of sanding left, but I removed both the logos on both sides. The sort of patenting information, the scaling on the handles has been ground down, and then I also expanded the battery tray. Uh, as you can see here, there's a little bit of plastic up here, and that's just sort of uh, done to expand it so that way I have somewhere to put the connector while the battery sits down here. Uh, I'm going to sand it a bit more uh, just to get rid of some of the like, digital camo stuff and then we'll go to some base coats of paint. Okay, so as you can see here, I did a uh, gray primer, which you can't see obviously, just to get rid of that orange so that it wouldn't shine through when I painted over it with white. So now we have a nice flat white coat with nothing really peeking through, which is really nice. Uh, I'm going to go at it with some black and then maybe do a bit of uh, either black or silver, both dry brushing. Uh, the optimal way to sort of coat the handle in black would have been to tape it off and then spray it. But uh, since we're on a bit of a time crunch, I didn't really have time for that. And I'm just going to hand paint it and then clear coat on after. Okay, now I'm gearing up to do the sort of electronics of the blaster. I'm going to replace everything with 16 gauge silicone wire. Uh, motors are going to be Honey Badgers. It's going to run off a 2S LiPo. I have right here a... Uh, 15 amp cherry switch, which is going to sit right in here. I just need to grind down one of those screw posts, but basically I just need to uh, trim that a tad, so that way that'll uh, fit in there without any problems. And then uh, the battery pack will be in the sort of stock battery tray. I've carved it out already, so I shouldn't really have any problem with my uh, LiPo fitting in there. Only other real uh, replacement part is going to be the mag release. This is uh, my design. I 3D printed it, and then it's just a short one. A lot of people like to use the longer ones. I find myself fitting into them a lot. So I uh, sort of modeled mine off of some of the existing ones out there. But, you know, printed it myself. So I have a few other printed pieces that will go on the outside of the blaster. However, they're not done yet. So I'm going to finish up the inside and then I will finish up printing the last external pieces. But they can all go on after the blaster is fully assembled. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the amount of work that needed to be done over uh, Thanksgiving break in order to sort of keep this project on track. But uh, basically, like I said before, there's a few 3D printed parts that need to go on the outside. So when I go back to school tomorrow, I will start getting that done. But uh, for the meantime, you know, the blaster is 100% functional. It's uh, been completely wired, like I said, with 16 gauge silicone wire. Uh, and then it goes to this XT60 connector, which will be in the... 3D printed battery tray, uh, and the 2S LiPo, and all that good stuff. So, without further ado, uh, let's hop back and get printing with some parts. 